Hello all. We look forward to presenting an intern dilemma to you, highlighting a real world ethical dilemma. My name is Dina, and together with group four members, Hinak, Brian, David, Shraddha, and Ying, we will be delving into the difficult decisions that individuals have to face out in the real world. As we walk through this case study, please ask yourself, what would you do in this particular situation? What is the best solution to resolve this dilemma? I will now turn it over to Brian to describe the dilemma that our intern is facing. Thanks for that introduction, Dina. And I will be talking a little bit about the case and specifically um, a detailed description of the problem that our intern found himself in. Uh, his name is Mark Yang, and he was a Harvard business student, and he had become interested in interning with a particular technology firm after speaking with the CEO a number of times. He was delighted to hear that he had scored the internship for the summer and that he would be going to the Asian office. They were a, a European-based technology firm. Um, he was going to be going to the Asian office. And the main thing that he would be dealing with in terms of his job would be research on other technology firms. Unfortunately, Yang had trouble receiving his visa on time, and he inquired about potentially beginning work early from Boston, where he currently was. And during that conversation, uh, the person that he talked to asked if he could misrepresent himself as purely a Harvard business student and not as an intern with their firm when conducting his research. And in that way, he could obtain a little more sensitive information, a little more uh, closely guarded information uh, in terms of his research. And initially, he brushed off the request, uh, didn't think much of it, thought maybe it was just a, an offhanded remark. Uh, but he was asked again in a later conversation whether he could misrepresent, misrepresent himself. After multiple times being asked, um, he realized that it was an intended strategy on their end. And to talk a little bit about the inherent dilemma in that strategy, I will pass it off to Ying to talk about that. The ethic dilemma Yang faced was to conduct marketing research as an HBS student that hides his intern position for the technology security firm. In this way, he could either obtain better sensitive information from competitors and finish the project with high quality, but he had to lie to others. The conflict of interest here is whether to finish his professional duty or to keep honest. Next, Shredder will talk about affected stakeholders. Thank you, Ying, for explaining the inherent dilemma. Now that we know the problem, who is it really affecting? The Economic Espionage Act clearly outlines protections for a company or a company's valuable intellectual property by prosecuting dishonest competitors who steal a company's trade secrets. But it can also be used against a company that finds itself with trade secrets belonging to a competitor. Yang is asked to do just that by not recognizing himself. This decision is consequential not only to Yang, but also to stakeholders of the company he's working for and for Harvard Business School. In the event that Yang is caught, his company loses credibility and attracts bad press. But at the same time, a lot of other stakeholders will be affected. For instance, employees. Everyone loses credibility in the market. Management, the higher management, like the CEO, who hold values and ethics very close to them, will lose their credibility in front of their investors just because he was not aware of the sketchy practices in the Asian offices. Trade associations, government, regulators. We understand that this is a global business, which implies that as Yang is exposed, the business practices of the country is challenged as other subsidiaries of the company may or may not be indulging into these practices partners, suppliers, customers. Once a company is known for lying and or being unethical in any sense, every remote partner who does business with the company will start doubting the intentions of the company, no matter however pure. We also look at the fact that Yang is an official student of Harvard Business School. In the event he was exposed, the media would talk about the Harvard student which implies that Yang, if he decides to comply with his orders from his superiors, would challenge the reputation of the school. Like Hopkins students, I would believe that Harvard students would be expected to function at the highest standard of ethics. 
this would imply for Harvard and its students that they cannot be trusted and employers would have would most likely be skeptical of the students. Our previously discussed uh, example about how Harvard and um, how Yang would be affected could be somehow related to the Salomon brothers case where, where Meriwether did not really report the analyst when the analyst came to him and as a consequence the whole firm fell apart. Now I'd like to, dis to, I'd like to invite David to talk about possible solution for this case. Thanks Chandra. I will now discuss the three possible solutions in which Mark can address the situation as well as a few of the high-level pros and cons that he would need to consider. First, Mark would participate in a project, but instead of concealing his identity, he can fully identify who he's working for. The pros of this solution is that he completes the project and maintains his integrity. While thinking about the cons, the project he's working on could have suboptimal results if he were to believe the office hiring manager. Also, depending on the employer's knowledge of his approach, it could damage their relationship because he's not executing the task as they had wished. A second option is Mark could refuse to participate in the project and request to work on a separate project. The pros is that he would again maintain his integrity and still gain some level of valuable work experience he is looking for. However, this approach could clearly damage his relationship with his employer and perhaps potentially his chances for a full-time offer or if they used, viewed it as insubordination, something even worse. Also, he potentially misses out on being involved in a key strategic project. And finally, Mark could start on another project while asking that the original project be put on hold. The pros of this solution is that he again maintains his integrity and the project experience. But the cons is that he's really not dealing with the problem, only delaying it. And he could be seen as not a team player or difficult to manage. Now we'll turn it over to Hinoch for closing remarks. Thank you, David. To summarize, we raised ethical dilemmas, such as conflict of interest, price of honesty, and many others. I want you to put yourself at Yang's shoe and ask if you would act dishonestly to obtain better information and win inappropriately. Or would you rather take the routes of honesty in your professional duty? You'll face ethical dilemmas that will require you to make a decision, and they will have consequences to different stakeholders and your own self-esteem as my team has presented today. Among the so possible solutions provided to you, which one works really best for you had you been at the intern's position? Thank you.